Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today is Motivational Monday, so sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. I am so sorry I was not able to do last week's Motivational Monday. I was under the weather, but I'm feeling better today, and hopefully I'm back on the mend. I wanted to talk with you today a little bit about something that's in the book of Proverbs. And the verse is, if a man has friends, he must show himself friendly. So I know in the way things are in the world right now, it's really hard sometimes to make a face-to-face -face human connection. It seems like when we go online, everything is handled by the algorithms or the bots, if you will. It is very important right now with the climate that we have those face-to-face -face encounters with people. If there's any way your health will allow it. I'm not saying put your health in danger, go places that's gonna put you at risk, I'm not saying that. But if you're healthy and you can go out and make those friends, that is extremely important. I hear a lot from women that say, I don't have any friends. I don't have any family. I don't have anybody I can talk to. We are right now in what I would call a transition phase, the world is. This has been coming for a while as we've seen things move more and more into online purchasing and online Facebook friends and Instagram and social media of all types, including YouTube. We've seen that trend coming, but it seems like over the last couple of years with the um, the way things have gone, that it's just boom, it's here and now we have no connections. And look folks, I understand, I live alone. I went from a job that I interacted with people every day to a job that is mainly online because most of my work that I do is online. So I totally get it. I understand how hard it is. But if we don't make that effort to show ourselves friendly, if you will, like what the Bible tells us to do, then we are going to be stuck in a rut and we're going to possibly suffer depression and have those feelings of not being enough and being less than and feeling reductive. I'm going to encourage you, especially you ladies, and I know it's hard. Listen, it was easy when my husband was here. It was easy. We went and we did stuff together all the time. And, you know, he was an outgoing person just like I am. So we both you know, wanted to go and meet people and mingle with people. If you're an introvert, it's not quite that easy. But let me just assure you introverts out there today, let me just talk to you for a second. Your friends who are extroverts really value you because my very best friend is an introvert and I wouldn't take anything in the world for them. They value loyalty. They value confidentiality. They value time spent together. They place a high premium on that. So you extroverts out there, find you an introverted friend and cultivate it if you can. Now, introverts, you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone just a little bit in order to find those friends. But I'm really going to encourage you not to give up and don't be overwhelmed by it because it's really easy to do because if you're introverted, a lot of times being around a bunch of people will tire you and make you just make you just feel debilitated. Don't try to be around a lot of people all at once. Try being around one or two. Go to lunch with a couple of people. Don't take it one or two at a time. Do that. Extroverts, that's not going to bother you, but don't bur burn yourself out doing too much activity and being around people too much because that can tire us out as well. But we have to show ourselves friendly, folks, if we want to have friends, if we want to make those interpersonal connections, if we want to interact with others, if we want to be a part of a community, we have to make the effort because Let's face it, folks, nobody's going to make that effort on our behalf anymore. Those days are done. It's up to us to make the effort, and that's sad because you would think as we got older that we wouldn't have to make those efforts anymore. Unfortunately, the world has changed 
as such that that is no longer the case. So I'm gonna encourage you today to reach out to somebody that you've been maybe thinking about talking to. Maybe reach out to somebody you think, you know, I would like to get to know that person. Reach out, ask them for lunch. Just make it casual. Just say, hey, would you like to go to lunch? Hey, would you like to go to dinner? Hey, I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee. Would you like to go with me? Hey, would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Invite a couple of folks over for dinner. That's a great way to get to know people is when you're entertaining in your home. If you feel comfortable with that. Now, obviously, if you don't feel comfortable with that, you've got health issues, you can't get out, you don't wanna risk it, don't do that. But we also have Skype and Zoom. Now that doesn't take place of face-to-face -face encounters, but it's a pretty good substitute if that's all you can do. But please, ladies and gentlemen, do something. Don't become isolated. Don't feel like you're out here on your own planet and nobody cares. Don't do that. Please, I'm encouraging you to make those connections. Listen, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. I love you with all my heart. Maranatha. Bye-bye.